Hi everybody, we are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the heat treatment of sapphires. You know, sapphire is a variety of gemstone that is uh, that is corundum family gemstone. And uh, it's uh, gemstones like ruby, sapphire and corundum itself. These are three stones in a family. So here we will talk about the sapphires. Sapphires are many colors like uh, blue color, yellow color, green color and uh, black color. Many colors you can find in, in category of uh, sapphires. So we will talk about the heat treatment of sapphires in this video. So before diving into the video, I would like to say that if you want to purchase different kind of gemstones from us and directly from the sources, you can contact us on WhatsApp and we can deliver everywhere in the world. Within a week, you can receive your parcel. Heat treatment of sapphire. Heat treatment is a widely accepted practice in the sapphire industry to enhance color, clarity and overall values. Here's a detailed explanation in this video. What is the basically heat treatment? Heat treatment involves exposing sapphires to control high temperature, typically right like uh, 1000 centigrade to 1800 centigrade between this temperature. Uh, basically depends on the material, what, what the material is being used in heat treatment. So you can accordingly uh, manage this treatment to alter their color, physical, optical and chemical properties. Different types of treatments we will discuss in the video. Number one is low temperature heat treatment. Below 1000 centigrade enhances color and clarity. It takes long time. So second number is high temperature heat treatment. HDH known as above 1000 centigrade improves color, clarity and removes inclusions. It take comparatively less time but uh, can improve the color and the clarity. So number third is combination heat treatment, multiple heating cycles at varying temperatures. So to test what temperature is uh, comparable and fixed temperature is uh, good for your stone. So you can change in multiple heats and can check your stone where it is going to change. Number four is diffusion heat treatment introduces color improving elements. That is the color, basically metallic color used in enhancing the color of sapphires and that is known as uh, diffusion. Only the surface can be heat treated and uh, put the color on the surface. That, that is a layer effects on sapphire we will talk about. Number one is enhancement intensifies and alters the color. Number second, inclusion removal dissolves or reduces inclusions. Number third, crystal structure modification enhances optical properties. Number four, rotile needle growth stimulates asterism known as sapphire asterism, uh, star sapphire known as heat treatment methods, different methods we will discuss in this video. Number one is furnace annealing controlled atmosphere. Number second in induction heating, electromagnetic induction. Number third is gas fired kiln, gas fuel. And number four is laser heat treatment, precise localized heating. So the factors influencing heat treatment, the temperature affects color enhancing and inclusion removal. Number second is duration, longer heating times, increase effectiveness, atmosphere, oxygen levels influence color and clarity. And uh, step by step you have to test with the supply of oxygen then you can check your material that what kind of changes is being on on, on the stone that uh, what kind of treatment is preferable what treatment is suitable for your stone you can do so the sapphire quality initially quality affects treatment outcome detecting heat treatment different ways we can detect the heat treatment number one is microscopy examining inclusions and growth patterns number second is spectroscopy analyzing absorption spectra number third is fluorescence Observing response to ultraviolet light. Number four, refractive index measurement, assessing optical properties changes. So the benefits and the risks in this treatment. So number one, benefits enhance the color and the clarity, increase value, improved marketability. The risks are also involved. Overheating causes damage or discoloration or burn the stone. Maybe inadequate treatment fails to achieve desired results what you want. Disclosure requirements for treated gemstones industry regulations and disclosures. So what industry asking about these stones? Number one, International Colored Gemstone Association recommends disclosures. You must disclose your gemstones heated or heated. So Gemological Institute of America reports heat treatment detection. So they can detect as, as on the report heat treatment detection. So world jury varieties and treatments of, of sapphire Number one is blue sapphire heat treatment enhances the color. Number second is pink sapphire heat treatment intensifies color. Yellow sapphire heat treatment improves clarity. Number four, green sapphire heat treatment enhances the color. So the conclusion is heat treatment of the sapphire 
requires expertise and careful control, understanding its effects, methods, and detections, techniques, ensures transparency and informed decision making. Additional resources. Number one, Etymological Institute of America, International Colored Gemstone Association, World Jewelry Confederations, the Sapphire Book by Richard W. Weiss. The information I told you that is necessary to understand whole methodology of your treatment. So where you can test it, how you can disclose it, how we can do the treatment on the whole process and what the changes comes after the treatment. So everything I told you in this video, if you have any questions, you can ask me in this video. So please subscribe my channel if you like this video also share other persons and uh, please subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon button for the notification of new uploaded videos every day so thank you very much